Melton Farm Mais ils sont fous, mais c'est quoi Assassin T'as du sang Sur les mains Assassin du sang Assassin T'as du sang Sur les mains C'est par où C'est tout droit, au fond du couloir Melton Farm Assassin T'as du sang Sur les mains Melton Farm Assassin T'as du sang Sur les mains First of all, how did you both get involved with this film? In a very classical way. Uh, first, I got the script through my agent, and then I met Robin, and then I went to the audition where I met Arno. Nothing extraordinary, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. I, know, I understand your path was a little different. Yeah, yeah, a little different, yeah. I received a call two years ago from a casting director I used to work with. with. Uh, I stopped acting for six years, and she called me and said, are you still an actor? I said, no. Do you want to do a, a try for me? I said, no. <laughs> and she explained me the story of the movie, and I said, okay, for something like this, why not trying? So I started the process, like, very relaxed at the beginning and uh, get involved um, and met now well um, and yeah, yeah here we are we right. did a few sessions yeah two before, two session, yeah. before being confirmed yeah. for the roles okay how much did you know about um act up and their activities and organizations not that organizations? much because we were eight nine at that time so sure. um i remember um the pink condom on the obelisk they put uh in 1994, I think. Um, but about the DNA, the, um, the, the message of ACT UP, I was not really aware uh, of. Uh, it was um, an association for me, but that's it. So it was uh, through the, the books and um, the DVDs we, we had to prepare uh, for the film that I really um, got the, the spirit of those people. Mm. And I had no idea. I'm Argentinian. Right. Uh, I was born in '86, so. Sure. I knew some associations that dealt with the issue, but um, not Act Up. So you talked a little bit about the kind of preparation. I mean, what kind of research and preparation did you do for roles like these? Quite, s quite soft for myself. Mm. Just the book, a book about uh, about Act Up. Uh, written by Didier Lestrade and two DVDs, uh, two documentaries on um, on the association, and I wanted to learn more and ask uh, to Robin some like other references and say, oh wait, um, I don't want you to be an expert of AIDS or of ACT UP or of the 90s. Just go with the flow and be quite naive about this. Mm. We're talking about Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because you were like arriving. Yeah, arriving at the association. The I'm quite new in the group. I'm new in the group. I'm a newcomer. Yeah. So don't be too too informed. Yeah. Well, we had access to the, all the, the um, audiovisual national archives of television, French television. So we could see like all the actions that ACTEP was carrying out at the time that would come out in television. And that was quite great. Yeah. It was very exciting to see how, what, how, what it looked like. And uh, then we had like more of a political book that was written by ACTAP with all the commissions and all like the political, you know, it was more of an ideological, political, very pragmatic book. And then I saw a great documentary called Silver Lake View from Here, which is a documentary shot by uh, an HIV positive couple that films themselves while the, the disease strikes. Right. And it's very, very raw and you just see the passage, the passage from a living body down to a corpse. You see like crazy things that I'd never seen in my life. And that was more than enough. And then Robin was an activist, the co-writer was an activist, and the producer was act up activist. So we had all the time like a little, you know, act up uh, part there. Yeah, among us. I was going to ask you about that because Robin was actually kind of personally involved with um, ACT yeah. UP in the back of the day. How much insight was he kind of able to to offer you when you were making this film? He, he was giving information while we were auditioning, uh, mm. even at this state. Um, um, uh, he was generous. Very generous, but not like um, like a teacher. Just some information sometimes about scenes, and then. Um, other information later, and before before the um, the filming, we had um, um, a rehearsal with uh, 
Philippe Mangeau, Mangeau uh, uh, the co-writer, and who was um, an actor president for three years, I think, and explaining all about the association, the rules, the 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 energy inside of the group, and mm. the way of saying hi, um, that kind of stuff for an hour and a half. Yeah, and he was talking in present tense, and that was for me very shocking. Yeah, that was, it was right. great. Yeah. He was like, welcome to ACT UP, you are this, you do this, yeah. you deal with yeah. this, this is how you feel right now. Yeah. And yeah. it was just like, yeah. you know, you just arrived right. for a little rehearsal and you find yourself in that like, <gasps> time, you know, st like a trip. stops. Yeah, a bit. He just yeah. took us back then. Yeah. I mean, not back then. Actually, he took us to like a very different present. Yeah. yeah. Very urgent yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, I was going to ask if kind of the fact that Rob Adam and some of the other guys working on the film had been involved with that movement, whether that kind of added any extra kind of pressure to get the portrayal right. But it sounds like you were kind of, they put you in a pretty immersive no, situation. It's, it's, um, no, pressure. it's a help because if you're doing it wrong, they will tell you that, no, it's not really like this. So you, you're very, it's very comfortable. I think. And because we were never comparing no, things. No, as well. Yeah. We were never trying to like impersonate yeah. or mimic or you know recreate a certain period uh, gesture-wise. It was just like embodying something, absorbing an energy, like that electricity that Robin also talks about. And then we just did our own thing. And he was very clear on that. Yeah. As long as the thing lives before the camera, before my eyes, it could be different from well, that lots of time. freedom. Yeah, that from it can him. be as yeah. interesting to watch yeah. and as emotional as it was back then. Sure. Uh, how much of an impact do you think um, groups like ACT UP had on in um, in terms of kind of people's impression of of AIDS and HIV and the kind of public consciousness? I mean, perhaps really important, really really important because um, thanks to them, um, um, certain type of technique of testing um, meds. Uh, have changed after their um, actions. For example, um, um, you they were giving real med to some uh, patients and placebo uh, to others. And thanks to Accept, it's not possible anymore. You have the real new meds with the latest uh, med that is really efficient, but there is no uh, mm. real treatment and nothing. Mm -hmm. Thanks to them, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. We know that. So just finally, what do you hope that people take away from this film when they see it? Whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Um, um, I don't know. I don't think about messages. Yeah. Really. I think that I think that it's a very multi-layered film. Yeah. That really like everyone can do. Everyone. I mean, some people might not like the film, but I think it's easy to just like make your own journey through the film. So Which it's is like really great because sometimes in movies you have. A, Please look at this. This is the violin. Uh, you're gonna cry. Here, it's very raw. So yeah. you're free to roam about the yeah. film, and I think that if you t if you watch it twice or three times, it's gonna you're be gonna a different it. film. Yeah, yeah, seriously, I never say that in films that I play in, but this one, I feel that it's like that. Yeah. Ensemble, nous pouvons construire une communauté capable d'adopter à l'égard de la maladie une attitude positive et combative.